Okay, here's an overview of the storage uh, room in the stem trailer. There's a lot of stuff here to go over. Okay, first off, you got your spare tire mounted there. We've got your two outside TVs mounted here. One of them already has the mounts on it. The mounts already on the one side. Um, going around here, you've got the back side of your stereo. It's got a little cage here to protect it if you ever need to access that. Um, you got your generator mounted there. 12 volt battery mounted there. And I'm gonna go over all this stuff internally here. First off, you've got a bunch of warning stuff here that you should familiarize yourself with. Uh, the most important one, obviously, is the generator thing. Um, you're supposed to hold this, move this generator 20 feet away from the trailer when it's in use. I've seen people run it inside here. It's up to you. There is a CO2 uh, slash uh, smoke detector here, but that's up to you. So, the general operation here, you've got a the few, uh, the electrical box here has three breakers. The middle breaker is the air conditioner and the heater. Uh, the left breaker is the outside uh, outlets, and the right breaker is the inside outlets. Um, all of the lighting is 12 volt. It runs off this battery. This battery will last a long time. The battery will charge uh, during operation when you're driving it. Uh, we also include this little 12 volt charging thing for the generator directly. You could also pick up a a little trickle charger that you could hook up to the 120 to power to, to charge that battery. The only thing you got to worry about is don't leave that plugged in because these batteries, you know, you can have an issue with them overcharging and boiling. Okay, so for the operation, um, you've got this box here. This is electronics. There's a cord that comes out of it. This box controls all the internal electronics of the trailer. Uh, you The plug here... You can plug, we plug it in this battery. So this battery, when you're running, will run off of the generator and charge. If the generator goes down, the battery will run the uh, trailer for about an hour. Uh, if you're ever at a place where you have just a regular 120 plug, you can just unplug this plug right here and plug this directly into the, out, the extension. That will power the inside. It will not power the air conditioner. The air conditioner is a 30 amp. It's going to require a 30 amp plug. But you could use it that way. Um, so... You also, here we have a little plug that goes to your, your bogo lighting, your ground lighting, uh, and that's also got a manual control here. You will need to point that remote at this thing here to get it to work. I'm going to unplug this. Well, actually, here, I'll leave this plug in. It doesn't matter. On the 12 volt, on the other trailer, we, we put all the lighting on 12 volt, and you should unplug that because it could drain your battery. Uh, also, the stereo is 12 volt. You need to make sure that that uh, is unplugged because it could drain your battery. So... You also have this, this battery plugs in to this outlet. You could remove this entire thing and take this in and charge this battery if you need to. It doesn't need to be charged out here. Uh, that's the back side of the heater there. In the corner, you've got a fire extinguisher with a quick release of bungee cord to get off if you need to. Um, I believe that's all the operation. With the 12 volt lighting, there's a main switch here, but these also have small individual switches. so. You know, you can use those as you see fit. I'm going to leave that off.